spoiler free? Huh? Are you going to read it? Should I read it? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I will read it so let's do spoiler free. Okay. Andrea, do the synopsis. Oh my god. Um Let me think about what was it about? I'll do a synopsis of the first one since this is the second. Did right? we record the first one yet? No, we haven't. Oh, we could do them both, can we? Yeah. Let's do that. I like that idea. So we're going to be talking about The Kind We're Saving by, I have no idea what the name is. Who's the author? Um, get... Peter Swanson. Peter Swanson. So it's a duology, correct? Um, and they're both out. There's The Kind Worth Killing first, and then The Kind Worth Saving second. I read the first one, what well, we all did, because it was a book club pick. And then Liz and Ian read the second one. So we're going to do a quick recap of both. But no spoilers on the second, because I'm going to read it. Um, for The Kind Worth Killing, it was about, um, the main girl was Lily, and she randomly meets this guy on a plane. Um, they have, like, they're in London, they meet each other, they're about to board the flight, they spark up a conversation, and it leads pretty dark pretty quick of him kind of expressing his frustrations with his marriage, and Lily suggesting to kill his wife because there are some people that are just worth killing and so then it goes into like the backstories on the two and then um describes their future like relationship in the sense of like working together to potentially kill his wife Miranda it's like it's not really a murder mystery but kind of I guess what would you call it Liz like a thriller I think yeah 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 so what did you guys rate the kind worth killing the first one i gave it a b. I rated it. b for liz what about you Fran? i did a minus i did b as well why did you pick a b liz I liked the story I thought it was interesting I thought like a couple pieces of it were unbelievable um just not realistic and it's supposed to be set in our world the only reason I didn't give it an A is because I wasn't like obsessed with it I try to reserve A's for books I'm like obsessed with and I didn't feel obsessed that's fair another reason I rated a B was because I mean, Lily was interesting, but I didn't like, it. like, none of the people in that book were good. It was an interesting story and definitely dramatic and fun to read. But there was no one that I would, like, relate to or ever want to, like, be friends with. For sure. I would not be friends with any of them. But there's kind of, like, don't find out the end either. It's true. Do you find Until you read the sequel. Yeah, if you read the sequel, you find out the end. But Did you yeah. guys feel like the story was complete after the second book? Yeah, I mean, you know the end after it. The book one cliffhanger is figured out, but there's like another kind of cliffhanger. Like not huge cliffhanger, just like open-ended questions. So what do you feel the same way, Anne? Like... What? Did you feel the same way that there were still some things like not answered? Like not everything I felt like was resolved in like the relationships at the end of the second book. Yeah, they have some weird relationships going on. Yeah. Hmm. So what did you guys rate the second book then? Or like what's the premise of the second book? So the premise is like they're following another murder mystery and then you kind of like throughout that book you meet people from the first book and they like he you figure out what happened in the first book or they tell you what happened in the first book okay it's hard to describe the second book and what role the characters play without spoiling the first book because you don't really know who lives or what happens to them and like book two picks up like a year later right ish mm -hmm. yeah a year later 
Did you like the second one better? Like, what did you rate it? I'd probably rate it a B plus. I really wanted to know the end, so. I rated it a B also because it was it was very similar to the first book. I felt some of the characters were more likable because you learned more about them. Um, and it did resolve like a, the big cliffhanger in book one. But some of the stuff is just, it's still just unbelievable. And I don't think it's realistic. I hope that Lily's character isn't realistic. <laughs> I hope there aren't people like that out there. Never know. What was that statistic? I feel like it was in the news. So the average person like bumps into like a murder like five times in their life or something and doesn't realize it. You guys heard that? That is wild. I haven't heard that. I would read more by Peter Swanson though after reading this book. He kind of gives me um, vibes, the similar vibes to the guy who wrote Silent Patient and The Maidens. Alex, someone. Micah Bellies, Micah Libby's. Yeah. I liked him too. That's another thing. According to the New York Post, the average person unknowingly walks past, walks past 36 murderers in their lifetime. No. Yeah. What if you work remote? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> what if you never leave the house? <laughs> what if you, guys, we're safe. Good news. <laughs> what if you're an introvert? <laughs> <laughs> you this is why I don't do grocery <laughs> shopping. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that needs to have some like an asterisk and some more information on who those who that's based on. That's so funny. Well, that's do you guys have any other thoughts or comments on the series? It was good. I would recommend it. I like it. I, think I liked I'm trying to think which one I liked better. The first or second? Know. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to read it now then. Gotta do I think it. the second one was, I don't know, it's hard to pick. I did like how clever she was, the main character. Um, she did some dumb things, but she did do clever things I never would have thought of. So that was kind of fun. I agree. I think it's such a fun premise for a book too. Like you sit down next to a random guy in an airport and you guys become friends and decide to kill his wife. Like it's kind of, it's kind of, it's so random, but I like it. Airports are going to be a lot more fun now. We're going to have to be like on the lookout for fun people to have conversations with. If only we talk to strangers. I know. It's <laughs> funny. Well, well, that's the kind we're saving and the kind we're killing. Those are backwards. Whoops. Go read it. It's a good, fun, quick duology.